on how to care and how to set up for a bed of fish and this is my personal opinion after research and experience so the first thing you'll need is a tank now there are many opinions as I stated before on what size tank should start for a bed of I suggest no less than one gallon. I say this because a gallon tank is really small to begin with, and the smaller you go, the more often you have to do a water change. Even with just one fish, a uh, one gallon tank will probably have to get a full out water change at least once a week to keep the fish healthy and happy. So I like to have only a small tank if needed for like quarantine which will last a couple weeks so not definitely not its whole lifetime i did start out when i first started keeping beta fish having them in way too small tanks and probably not wanting to changing them as often as i should have but i've learned and now i enjoy i keep my fish in five gallons or larger when i can so I suggest a five gallon tank would be amazing for one bed of fish. And especially if you're a starter for keeping fish. For a five gallon on up, you will need to do a 10% water change once a week. So this is a lot easier than doing a full water change every two days for a smaller container. So when I breed my bed of fish and I have the baby males, in small containers that is just for grow out and temporary use only and then I water change them often and sometimes do a hundred percent water change so a 10 gallon like this you'll see a beta acting differently than maybe you've ever seen a beta act they're active they're swimming that's because they actually have space to do so so you'll see a marvelous change in a beta if you have a five gallon or even maybe a two or three gallon tank. The next thing is a heater. A heater is important because bettas like hotter water temperature normally set around 75 to 80 degrees. And when you breed bettas, you want the temperature to be around 81 to 84 but a beta will be happy with a warmer tank, so that's another thing you'll need. And then, it's debatable, but depending on the size of the tank, you'll want a filter. I'd say for any tank you should have a filter, but if it's a small tank, like a one gallon, a filter is just going to take up more room and give the beta even less room to swim in. So, especially if you have a bigger tank, you should definitely get a filter if you can. There are many different types of filters. What I use are sponge filters and the Tetra Whisper filters. So, in the tank you see before you, it, this is a 10 gallon tank, and it has the Tetra Whisper filter for 20 gallons. I put that in, well mainly because I didn't want to use a sponge filter if I remember right, and I didn't have another 10 gallon Tetra Whisper filter, but then this way it makes sure that the 10 gallon tank is nicely circulated. In this tank next door, there is a sponge filter. This filter may not be as effective as the Tetra Whisper. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the bubbles coming up. Um, this is what a lot of fish breeders use when they breed fish because then the babies cannot be sucked into the filter. So this is what I use when I'm breeding fish and even when I'm not. 
but I wouldn't say it might not do as good of a job cleaning up the tank. Um, and you need a air pump to go with it, so then that's more money. But you can also connect more than one air pumps to a filter. So the next essential, very essential thing you'll need for a better is a tank hood. A light is optional and it will help the tank look prettier. Um, a hood is very essential because betas are jumpers. You may not think it, but they do jump. I have had <clears throat> a time where a fish, it was my one of my first ever wild bettas. It was in a tank. I had just moved him out of quarantine. He seemed happy. I came up an, a couple hours later and he was dried up on the floor. So somehow he had jumped through the little feeding hole and I wasn't there to save him. So that's why you need to be very careful when choosing the lid for your beta tank. Um, so since then, I even cover up the feeding holes. And in the wild, bettas, if it's like summer and the water starts to drop and they're caught in a puddle, this is why people think that bettas like living in small containers because they live in puddles, quote, quote, in the wild. But they actually live in rice paddies, which are many, many miles, can be many miles long. And so they have ample room to explore and hide. But in the summer, when the water dries up some, sometimes they might find themselves in a smaller environment than they like. So they would try and, quote, puddle hop to a different puddle to get, hopefully, into a bigger puddle. So that's their jumping instinct. They're hoping that they will land in a bigger body of water. Another thing you will need for a betta fish is rocks. Now this is optional. You can have a bare bottom tank, but it'll look a lot messier with a bare bottom tank. I use a bare bottom tank for breeding, as of reasons I will state in a later video. You can, it doesn't really matter what you use, you can be creative. You can use fish rocks, you can use fish sand. You could find rocks outside, clean them off very, very, very well, let them sit and dry off a few weeks, and then add them to the tank. You can just be creative, just be careful on what you're putting in your fish's tank. The next thing you'll need is decor and plants. Now this is completely optional as well, but it's suggested that you have at least one spot where your bread can hide. And you can find many different types of fish decorations at pet stores. And with this part, you don't want to get over car carried away with this because, especially if you have like a one gallon tank, you could probably only fit one small hiding spot and one plant. And even then, that'll take away a lot of the fish's swimming room. So that's another reason a bigger tank is better, because then you can have more decorations in it, you can make it look pretty, and the fish can still have ample room to swim. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. Give me some comments. I will enjoy reading your comments. And if you're new to my channel, it would be awesome if you could subscribe. Thank you so much for being here everyone hopefully you're having a great day and thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos bye <laughs>
is what you need for a pet bear fish. Say you should do. Um, and there's 